Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to connect Google Maps to your website. If we quickly take a look at the front end of our website, we can see that Google presents us with an error message when trying to conduct a location-based search. This is because we need to create and connect a Google Maps API key for our website. But not to worry, it's only a one-time step you'll need to complete in order to get Google Maps and location search functionality working on your website. So you'll only need to set up Google Maps once and never touch it again. Before you set up Google Maps, be sure that you have already connected your live domain to your website. If you don't, then you will need to go through this process again once your domain has been connected. So let's go into our website's admin area, and we'll hop into Settings, General Settings, and then the Integrations tab. If we scroll down just a bit, we'll see the Google Maps section. Setting up your Google Maps API key is a relatively simple process that should only take a few minutes. However, Google does have a tendency to regularly update their user interface. If what you'll be seeing in this video doesn't match what you're seeing on your end from Google, be sure to click the Learn More link here. This will take you to our written documentation, which includes screenshots and will walk you through exactly how to set up Google Maps. Even if this video has become outdated when you're watching it, our documentation will always be kept current. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is head on over to cloud.google.com slash maps dash platform. And make sure that you're signed into your Google account that you use for your website or your business. Here we'll click the get started button and we'll be prompted to enter our billing information. This might sound scary, but Google currently provides $200 in free credits each month. With this $200 monthly credit, the vast majority of our users find that their use of Google Maps on their website is completely free. And if you do happen to exceed the $200 monthly credit, that probably means your website is already generating enough revenue where the small fee that Google will impose won't make much of a difference at all. So I'm going to set up my billing account and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I entered my billing information and clicked the button that said start my free trial, which brought me to this page. Here, it's important that we select all three APIs, maps, routes, and places. We'll click the enable button, and now we'll respond to a few questions about our project. So that's it for creating the API key, but we do still have a few more steps to take. So let's copy this API key and go back into our website's admin area so that we can paste it where prompted to. We can save these changes, but we do still have a few more steps to take within the Google Cloud platform. So let's click Done on this pop-up. And in the left-hand menu, let's click on Credentials. We'll then click on this Maps API key that we just created. And for Application Restrictions, we'll select HTTP Referrers. If we scroll down just a little bit, we'll come to Website Restrictions. Here, we'll be adding four items. So let's click Add an Item. And the first one will be asterisk.managemydirectory.com. We'll click Done. And we'll add a second one, which will simply be managemydirectory.com. And we'll click Done again. Managemydirectory.com is the URL of our website's admin area, so that's why we need to add it here. We'll now add another item. And this will be asterisk dot and then our website's domain. So in this example, our website's domain is setupmywebsite.com. So we're inputting for this referrer asterisk dot setupmywebsite.com. We'll click done and we'll add our last item, which will just be our website's domain. And we'll click done one last time. And finally, for the API restrictions, we want to make sure that the option don't restrict key is selected. Once all this is done, we can click save. And that's all there is to it. Google Maps should now be working properly on our website. So let's test it out. Let's head on over to our website. We'll refresh it. And let's try entering a location. Perfect. So we can now see that we're getting location suggestions from Google. This lets us know that Google Maps is now set up correctly on our website. So if you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.